Bill, my final question for you is, in terms of telling stories, do you think that people are born naturally to tell a story or they can acquire this skill set and be great in telling stories? Well, it's a little bit of both. I, I'll tell you the thing that happens more often is people assume that you're either a natural born storyteller or you are not. And make no mm -hmm. mistake, there are people who have more natural ability to tell good stories, to do good presentations, public speaking, et cetera. But storytelling is a talent, but more mm -hmm. than that, it's a skill. And like any skill, it can be learned through instruction, it can be sharpened through training, and it can be mastered through practice. So that's one of the things that I do. A lot of what I do is I teach professionals how to use storytelling in their communications to improve the impact of those communications. And we walk it through step by step, like learning how to play the piano, mm -hmm. learning how to play golf, learning a new language, like you learn the basics of it. And when people start learning the basics of it and recognize this isn't as hard as I thought it was going to be, yeah. they understand how they can use storytelling in their workplace communications to better persuade, influence and inspire others. Yeah, I totally agree with you because it's a skill set. You're learning something and you're telling, like a exactly. script, telling a story. Yeah, exactly. And I, for me, what, you know, the, being a good storyteller, like a dramatic, theatrical, animated storyteller, that's good, you know, but not mm -hmm. all of us are like that, especially in a workplace situation. So I always say to people, listen, the delivery of your stories is important, but it's not as important as you think. If you think strategically about a good story and make sure it's the right story, and you're willing to put some work into constructing that story and then actually practicing that story a few times out loud, that is 80 to 90% of what constitutes success. And yes, being a good storyteller can be the icing on the cake, mm -hmm. but it's not as important as people think it is. Yeah, I totally agree with you, Bill. And with that, my interview comes to an end. I really enjoyed the conversation and I hope the listeners will use the storytelling techniques in their next job interview so that they'll be differentiated from others. And again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips, please leave comments below. Reach to us to our social platform if you have any other questions. And tune in next time for another great, a great uh, guest I'm preparing for you guys. And Bill, thank you again. And hopefully we can meet for a coffee and continue the conversation. I'd love that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye, guys.